what is up everybody out there i want to welcome you back over to the channel this is brother d back with a, another video in this particular video um, i will be sharing with each and every one of you out there uh, the direction that i have decided to take this channel uh, but before i do that um, if you're new to this channel, please consider liking the video, you know, nice little thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for future content as well. Also, don't be afraid to dialogue down in the comment section, just as long as you keep it respectable, because I do love to dialogue with people, um, off video in IRL. I'm really easy to get along with. So, but the direction of this channel, I guess I have to give you a little bit of context, of course. So I've had this this YouTube channel since about 2012, I'd say. But I really wasn't doing anything with it at that time. I was just commenting on other YouTubers' uh, content. Uh, but I didn't start uploading actual stuff on this particular channel until about 2016, around that time. Uh, there was a lot of fitness related videos for those of you who don't know uh, i am a certified personal trainer and that is basically what i spend the majority of my day doing i have very little time uh, for content creation but i'm hoping that that will change going into 2022 with a couple of um, ideas and plans that i'm gonna go ahead and push forward and i will be willing to share more of that you know more of my life as well um, as we go forward with you know, the new content that is going to be presented on this channel. Um, when I felt that fitness really wasn't working out because I wanted to have a channel that was a hybrid between my family, faith, and fitness, but it seemed that fitness completely dominated the other two, which is family and my faith, of course, which is extremely important to me. Um, I decided to stop making fitness videos and dedicate my channel 100% uh, to you know, the Lord, Jesus Christ, my, my Lord and Savior. And the channel, a lot of you probably remember, was named Biblical Truth Central. And we stuck with that name since from about October of 2019 all the way up until about the summer of this year, almost going into the falls when I uh, made the decision to change the name of this channel. Uh, this year for me has been completely different from last year. Um, obviously, we were dealing with the pandemic. I had a lot of downtime and I was really, really deep into, you know, of course, the word of God and making it a mission to expose lies, making it a mission to expose deception. And because of that, my channel has been hit several times with strikes warnings strikes to where i was just completely unable to upload any type of videos i could not upload posters i couldn't do anything because i was wrongfully silenced so um i took a step back and i really decided you know what what do you want to do and what can i do you know to not take any glory away from god but to bring glory to his name, but still bring some sort of enlightenment to individuals out here in YouTube with my content creation. Uh, if it's one thing that I do know is that I do have a place as a content creator on YouTube. I have spent 90% of this year making various contents on various different platforms, which is why you probably have noticed that the frequency of my videos has slowed down significantly versus last year. January of this year, God told me, you know, not an audible voice or anything like that. Like literally, you know, spoke to my spirit, the Holy Spirit communing with my spirit. Basically said, just, just share the gospel. And that's it. Like, don't do the extra. Don't go here. Don't go here. Don't go sharing this news and sharing that news. Leave that up to everybody else. You just focus on the gospel and getting, you know, the name of Christ out there. So, of course, that's it. That's what I do. Um, I try to live my life the best way that I possibly can. Um, unashamed. You know, like Romans 3.16 tells us, you know, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ for his power of all things. And that's how I live my life. You know, I'm really, really 
deeply rooted with my faith and not afraid to show that in front of anybody because at the end of the day, I'm going to stand before God and I'm going to have to give an account to all of my actions. So um, I had been, I've had some pretty awesome experiences this year and a lot of those experiences have come with connecting with certain individuals. Um, I've just connected with so many individuals that are just deeply rooted with their faith or just really, really positive people that are just good to have in your circle. And it has helped me grow in so many ways. Like there are things that I find myself doing this year that I was not doing last year, which is reaching out to people who are hurting, reaching out to people, being making myself available to people who are in need. And I can honestly say that that does something to you that not doing it simply just can't do. It's like a lot of people like to receive, but they don't like to give. You see, receiving the gift feels great, but when you give, it gives you something that receiving just simply cannot can't give you. And I can, I'm so happy to say this, but, you know, God has just dealt with me with the subject of giving this year more than any other year. And I'm very happy about that because, again, it gives me something that I just could have never, ever received if it wasn't for, you know, the Lord blessing me with that and putting me in the positions in which he's put me in this year. I give all glory to God, like 100 percent, you know, thank you, Jesus, of course. And I just know that next year is going to be even better. So I wanted to come on here today, tonight, because it's about almost 10 p.m. my way. I've been working all day and I just wanted to get this video out because it was on my heart. And I was wondering, you know, when am I going to be able to make this video? Like, well, now, is, what better time than now? Just come on and, and let everybody know what to expect from this channel. I know that when people see changes in specific channels that they may unsubscribe and some people may subscribe. And, and if you choose to unsubscribe, it's completely fine. It's OK. I understand um, a lot of you are like, this is not what I signed up for, you know, but I, I want to give people more of me and let people know who I am and what I'm about. So if you saw the intro, you know, the intro, the brother, the intro where it basically is telling you what to expect on this channel, which is God. Of course, we're, we, we're going to keep it biblical. There's nothing I'm going to do that um, that's not going to Im not involve God. Everything's going to involve God that I'm doing. So you don't have to worry about me just oh, throwing the Bible out. Oh, no, we got Bibles all over this place. I got Bibles in my car. I got Bibles in my living room. I got Bibles in here. We got Bibles on, stock, on stack, on stack, stacks on stacks. Okay, they're everywhere. But... It's not just the Lord. I want to touch on men's mental health as well. Now, the reason that I want to touch on men's mental health has a lot to do with this year. You see, I've come in contact with so many men and we've just been going back and forth, dialoguing, talking about life, talking about struggles, talking about how it feels to operate in a world to where they expect you to perform at top performance without showing any emotions, without not hurting, without not feeling tired. Men deal with a lot that I just don't think society respects. And we need more awareness about that. You know, I just recently done a podcast with, um, with a brother in Christ, actually, and we talked about this subject about men's mental health. And um, I didn't realize that it was such a deep, deep, deep topic that people were interested in. So I'm like, you know what? I want to be uh, one of the voices on social media that talks about this because it needs to be talked about. We have channels for cooking, art, makeup, lady stuff, you know, no offense. And, and, and if you're a woman and you are subscribed to this channel, stay. Just because it says, you know, men's mental health does not mean that women are not included. It does not mean that you cannot learn something from this. I think that this will be a fantastic opportunity for ladies out there to get um, to see a man be vulnerable here on YouTube. Because I do plan on bringing some guests on 
the YouTube channel here. That's that's something else I wanted to share with everybody is bringing you know males, even females, over so that people can get a better understanding as far as you know what perspective I'm coming from and the perspective of other people are coming from when it comes to mental health. So we're going to be talking a lot about mental health over on here, but also tying it in with scripture too. So maybe you're somebody out there who's not a believer in Christ. And I understand the religion. No, no, you know, look, nobody's religious. Nobody's pushing anything on you. Just understand that everything in which we go through is no coincidence and it's for a reason. And everything is spiritual. There's a spiritual definition and meaning behind everything. And I'm hoping to enlighten some people about that, you know, as we go forward in 2022. This is also a place of um, safe safety, a safe place for you to come and not have to feel judged, not have to feel that you're going to be threatened or anything is going to be pushed on you. This is going to be a place for you to come to be inspired and motivated to take on the world. That is that's what I want for this channel right here. You know, that's what I want, because, you know, <laughs> it's a shame that we live in a world to where. You can't exactly say everything that you want to say without being penalized for it. And unfortunately, uh, content creators have to play the game of the current platform in which we choose to make content on. But this isn't me compromising. It's not me backing down because at the end of the day, as long as people hear the gospel, you know what they do on their own personal time is on them. But as long as I am doing my part as a child of God, then I'm fine. You know, I don't have to sit here trying to expose the Illuminati. I don't have to sit here and try to talk about hoaxes. I don't have to do none of that because there's plenty of channels out here that you can go to to do that. But I'm just not going to put this channel uh, that I've worked on for so long at risk. And because I kept getting hit with strikes and stuff, it really discouraged me. And it almost made me want to just quit, to stop. But, you know, of course, something inside of me was like, no, you can't do that. You have to keep going. There are people here on this platform who need to hear what you have to say. So that is the reasoning behind going forward with the content. It's not going to be that much different, but we are, like I said, going to be covering a lot more life topics, topics in which you probably can relate to. Um, I want all different walks of life to come here and have healthy dialogue in the comments section I'm here to get to know people, to connect with people at the end of the day. And I just want people to know that, you know, I'm here and I'm here to stay. <laughs> All right, everybody. This was supposed to be like a really, really short, brief um, channel update, but we're at 13 minutes right now. So um, we're probably going to get uploads of maybe once a week, I'd say, with my current schedule. So I can't really promise any more than that. But I can promise you that those uploads are going to be um, of the best quality, of the best audio that I possibly can produce. Um, if you've been following for a while, then you know that we are definitely stepping things up over here uh, because you deserve it. You know, if you're going to give me time to click on the video, I want to be able to at least give you quality on uh, what good content as well. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. God bless each and every one of you. Remember to click that like button because it helps this channel grow. We are at a little bit over 1,100 subscribers. That's amazing. Thank you so much for your time. Comment, subscribe if you're new. Peace.